Welcome to the Vodacall end user training video. Our hopes here are to show you just how simple using your new phone can be. We believe with some basic training and a little practice, this phone will be part of the best phone experience you've ever had, the Vodacall experience. Let's start with the basics, shall we? When your phone was rolled out to you, you should have received two documents, the Vodacall quick user guide for your phone and the Vodacall voicemail user guide. If you don't have them, they can always be found at downloads.vodacall.com. Let's focus on the quick user guide for a moment. Each guide has a picture of the phone and a breakdown of the keys, as well as a step-by-step -step guide for things like holding a call, transferring, conferencing, voicemail setup, and other day-to-day -day functions of using your phone. This covers all the basics for answering and moving a call around the office. These are also the things that if not practice, can have an effect on your customer and client experience. The key to your new phone are the soft keys that run along the bottom of the phone. These are the primary buttons that allow you to access a multitude of one-touch features. They will change depending on whether you're idle, if you're receiving a call, or if you're on a call. The More key will grant you access to additional features on each screen that are not available on the main screen. So let's practice together. But first, let's get our mailbox set up. Setting up your voice mailbox. The steps for doing this are highlighted on the quick user guide on the right hand side. First, you'll press your messages button. The system will then ask you for a password as it assumes you are calling from your own desk. Enter in your default password of 123456 followed by the pound sign. You will then be prompted to change your password. Welcome to your Compilot voice portal. Please enter your passcode. The Before you can use your voice portal, you must change your passcode and record your personalized name. Please enter your new passcode. Then, press the pound key. To go back to the previous menu, press the star key. Your new password should be between four and eight digits. In this case, we'll use 2580 pound. Please enter your new passcode again. Then, press the pound key. To go back to the previous menu, press the star key. Passcode has been changed successfully. Please start recording your personalized name after the tone. Press the pound key to end recording. Demo 302. Thank you. Your name has been recorded. If you are satisfied with your name recording, press the star key. To, you are now ready to use your voice portal. To access your voice mailbox, press 1. To record your name, press 3. To change your passcode, press 8. To exit the voice portal, press 9. To repeat this menu, press the pound key. For all intents and purposes, your mailbox is set up. If someone calls, they will hear, Demo phone is not available to take your call. Please leave a message after the tone. Press the pound key to end recording. If you'd like to record a personal greeting, follow steps six through eight by pressing one. That you have one new message in your mailbox. And then three. To list you record a new no answer greeting, press one. To play the current greeting, press two. Then one. To revert, please start recording after the tone. To end recording, press the pound key. This is a demo test message. You've reached the mailbox of Dan Nicklin. I'm not available right now. Thank you. Your greeting has been recorded. Your mailbox is now set up and you're ready to make your first call. Let's start with an internal call. To make an internal call, either lift the handset or start dialing the extension number you are trying to call. Once it has been entered, hit the dial key. Once you are on the call, hit the end soft key to end the call. To place an external call, simply start dialing the number to use the speakerphone or lift the handset and begin to dial. The new system does require 10 digits to complete the call. You do not need to dial a 9 or a 1 to complete the call. If you make a mistake, you can hit the back arrow keys. If I make a mistake, I can go ahead and back up and then correct that. To end the call, hit end. Let's talk about answering a call. When a call rings in on your phone, you have a few options. 
To answer the phone, simply lift the handset, or you can look to the screen and use one of the soft keys available to you. In this case, ignore, answer, or reject. If I hit ignore, the call does not go away, but I am presented with the option to answer it and reject it, even though it has stopped ringing. To answer the call, press answer, it activates the speakerphone. Again, press the end call to hang up. If I choose to hit answer, it will activate the speakerphone. To end the call, hang up. If I hit reject, it will send the caller to voicemail. Let's talk about answering a second call. First, we'll answer the first call. When a second call comes in, I will hear a beep in my ear, followed by ignore, answer, and reject, showing me who the party is. If I hit answer, it will place the first call I was on, on hold, and connect me to the second call. It also notifies me that I'm talking to call one of two. One of two meaning one is always going to be the call that you're speaking with, and two is always going to be the person on hold. So I'm talking to Vodacall 301. If I hit the down arrow key, it shows me the call that's on hold, Vodacall 300. If I hit resume from Vodacall 300, I'm connected back to the first person I was speaking with, and the other call has been placed on hold. You'll notice that this call is now one of two, and down is the other call. That is the key to answering multiple calls. The call you're on will always be the top call, number one. All other calls will always be the second call. So I'm now talking to this person, and I may tell them, I'm sorry, I've been waiting for this call. I'll call you back in a little while. I hit end call. I go ahead and hit resume and now I'm talking to the second person. I'm gonna go ahead and repeat this process. So the first call I'm on is extension 301. A second call comes in from extension 300. I hit answer. It places call 301 on hold. I'm now speaking to call 300. This is a call I've been waiting for, so I wish to go back to extension 301 and let them know I'll call them back. I hit my down arrow key, find the call on hold, hit resume, and say, hi, extension 301. I'm gonna to have to call you back in a few moments. I end that call. I then resume the call with extension 300 and continue my call. To end the call, press end call. To place a call on hold, answer the call, and then you can press your hold key. Your call is now on hold. To resume that call, you can either press your hold key or press resume. Again, press hold, then press resume. To end that call, press end. Let's talk about transferring a call. There are three ways to transfer a call. You can blind transfer a call or send the call directly to somebody without ever speaking to them. You can do what's called an assisted transfer, which allows you to announce the call to the person you are transferring to, or you can transfer to voicemail. We'll start by doing a blind transfer. A call comes in, we answer the call. We press our transfer soft key. It asks where we'd like to transfer the call to. We press blind and transfer the call to the extension. Hit dial and the call is now gone. To do an assisted transfer, call comes in, we answer the call, we press transfer, and instead of pressing blind, we just dial the extension we're looking to get to and press dial. That call is then answered. We're talking to that person, we tell them who it is. If they wish to take the phone call, we can just press transfer, or if I was on my handset, just hang up the handset. And that would complete the call. If the call came in, I answer it, I press transfer, I dial the extension I'm transferring to, and they answer the phone, and they tell me they don't want to take that call, then I can hit cancel, and I'm returned back to the person that I was speaking with. I might then offer the person voicemail. More, transfer it to voicemail, dial the extension number, hit enter, and that call is transferred call to the voicemail box. Thank you. Let's do that one more time. In this case, I'm gonna take a call, transfer it to extension 301, Talk to them for a moment. They tell me they want the call. I press transfer and it will complete. Call comes in. 
I answer the call. I press transfer. Dial the extension number of the person I'm transferring to. They answer the call. Hi Jim, this call's for you. Sure, I'd love to take that call. I press transfer. Call completes. Two parties are connected. You can also transfer a call off switch, meaning outside of the organization, by dialing the number. A call comes in and I answer it. I hit transfer and I dial an external number. If I press transfer, that call has now been completed to the external phone number. The last way to move a call around the office is using a feature called Park. Parking is a global hold that allows you to hold a call against a person's extension and allows them to pick it up from any phone. In this case, we'll take a call, answer. To park the call, we press more, more again, hit the call park button. Please dial the number where you want to park your call, followed by pound, or dial pound to park the call against your number. So I'm gonna park the call to extension 301 and hit pound. Your call has been parked, thank you. I now find the person who sits at extension 301, whether I go out in the office and look for them, I might page them on an intercom system, I might call the person who's down the hall from them to see if they know where they are. As soon as they know where they are and I notify them they have a call parked, they know they can walk to any phone, hit more, more again, hit park retrieve, dial the extension, and hit enter. The key to parking a call is always park it to the extension number of the person you are looking for. That way they know exactly which call to pick up. Let's make a conference call. The first call comes in and we answer. We then hit our more soft key when we hit conference. We're going to dial the extension of the second person. Once they answer, we're presented an option to conference the two together. We press conference. On the 335 Polycom set, you can have two external parties or two other parties and yourself on a conference call. So we are at a conference max. To end this conference call, simply press the end call key. To split the conference call up into two different parties on hold, press the split key. You would use this if you needed to make sure that you would remove someone from the conference call. If you hit split, you'll notice call one of two is 301. If I scroll down, call two of two is 300. So I can resume with 300, end the call, and then resume with 301, and now I could conference somebody else in if I needed to, or alternatively just finish my conversation with this person. So I'm talking to 301, one more time, let's do a conference call. Press more, conference. Dial in extension 300. They answer the call. I press conference. We're now engaged in a conference call. To end this conference call outright, press the end call soft key. To split the call into two calls, call one of two is extension 301. Call two of two is extension 300. Resume with the party. End that call. Resume again with your party that you wish to continue talking to. To forward your calls, press menu, press 1 for features, press 3 for forward, press 1 for always. It shows you the last place you forwarded your call to. If you wish to change that number, you would press the check mark. If you hit the down arrow key, it tells you that forwarding is disabled. To enable it, press the check mark again. Then hit the right arrow key for enabled. Click your OK soft key, and then hit your left arrow key. It asks you to save, hit yes. Hit your menu key, returns you to your main extension. And in the toggle here across the top, it is gonna let me know I still have one new message. It is also gonna let me know that I'm forwarded to extension 301. To turn that back off again, press menu, hit one for features, scroll down, three for forward, one for always. Hit my check mark, change that to disabled, Click OK, save, hit your menu key, you're back to the normal screen again. Let's focus on the dial pad in the middle.
To see your missed calls or your received calls, you would hit your down arrow key and you can scroll through the last 99 people that have called you. To see your placed calls, you would hit your right arrow key and this would show you the last 99 people that you've called. So if you called someone last Wednesday, you can scroll back through, find the call you think it is, hit your check mark, hit info, and see the information about when you actually made that call. If you'd like to call that person back, press dial. The up arrow key will show you your speed dial list. To add a number to your speed dial list, you can do so through the menu, through features, through your contact directory. Alternatively, you can hit your right arrow key or left arrow key and add a call that you've recently made. If I wanted to add this call, or for instance, this phone number, I could hit my checkbox, hit save, and they are now added to my speed dial list. For my main screen, if I now hit up, there's my first speed dial. On your phone, line one is where your calls will come in. Messages is your messages button. Hold, headset, speakerphone. Along the bottom are your volume controls. These will control the volume of your ringing when you're not on the phone. If you're on your speakerphone, it controls your speakerphone volume. Or if you're on your handset, it controls the handset volume. Mute will mute your headset, mute your speakerphone, or mute your handset. If you look along the bottom of the phone, there's a small opening. This is the microphone for your speakerphone. If you have poor quality for some reason, please check the area around your phone. If you have paper shoved up against it, it might not sound very good. In addition to that, sometimes glass tables or metal tables can cause reflections. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed your Vodacall training video. Don't forget you can visit us on the web at www.vodacall.com.